into the second hole here at Staining Lodge Golf Course. And I'm right at the back of the tee, the white tee here, on this uh, on this par 5 of some 510 yards. Um, there's out of bounds all the way down the, the left-hand side. And there's a pond strategically placed upon the right, which is like a magnet for golf balls. So we're going to try and stay away from there and away from the out of bounds. The hole does play uh, quite a bit longer in the winter. Um, that's because we don't get as much run. And for me, driving distance, there's a nice downhill slope, which would, uh, in the summertime, take the ball probably another 50 yards further than the winter, which makes the hole much shorter. Um, but now it, in, the, in the winter time, it's playing its true length and it's playing a proper par five today. So let's see how we get on. Line is those uh, white pillars in the distance on the horizon. So we're going to aim just slightly left of that. I'm going to try and cut this one in. Pretty good. Just a bit further right than I uh, was aiming, but uh, pretty good there. Fairly happy with my drive here off the second tee and um, because I faded the ball from the tee, which I kind of favour on this hole, um, we finished up a little bit shorter than probably expected really. Um, we've got 20 yards from here to the top of the hill, which I was talking about from the tee. There is a hill that slopes all the way down um, and in the summertime in a bit warmer conditions and a good drive, that ball will go a little bit further. Every chance that ball might hit the slope and run all the way down to the bottom, which will make the hole some probably 70 yards, uh, 70 yards nearer, which uh, of course then you can, I could reach with an iron. Uh, but here I've got my three wood. Uh, ideal spot, you can see the two bunkers just on the left hand side of the fairway. I want to try and uh, hit this shot and, and finish over those bunkers there. The ideal shape I want to put on the ball is a draw here. If we look to the right, there's no trouble on the right hand side. We can aim off down there and if it stays straight, I'm going to be in play. Um, bad course management here would be to try and think, well, we're going to fade the ball and we'll aim somewhere down the left hand side because all the trouble is down the left. Okay, let's see how we get on. Suicide cam in front. I hope we don't uh, thin the ball. good it's uh, stayed straight and uh, it leaves myself with a relatively easy shot to the green okay for my third shot I've got some 75 yards to the flag which is ideal because my 58 degree sand wedge goes 80 um, so I'm just gonna hit this as normal and um, want to try and get up to and or past the hole uh, we've got the camera just by the side of the green there so we should see the ball come in Is, uh, stick to your routine before do your practice swing get yourself focused is it enough ah just a bit short hits it well but it's just finished up on the front of the green. Where we stood, it did look like the ball had finished on the front of the green. Uh, it's made it a little bit further on than that, and it's left me with some 15-foot putt for birdie. So, looking at this, break slightly from the left-hand side, slightly uphill. I'm going to try not to leave this one short. Pulled it a fraction, it's okay though. There we go, par five. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the video of the second hole here at Staining Lodge Golf Course. If you have, you can click the like button. You can subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on Twitter. You can like me on Facebook. My name is Tony Johnston from TJ Golf at the Academy at Staining Lodge. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you again soon.